Oh shit, what's up, y'all? I'm I'm not even I don't even know what the fuck to call this, but we're gonna talk a little bit about Housewives Reunion. Like the preview right before it said that, you know, wait for the last five minutes, which I didn't do my predictions, I haven't been on camera. Uh, I just fucking knew. But I'm gonna say it now that yes, this this is gonna be lit. They gonna give us a big ass, you know, oh my gosh, mouth dropper at the end. The beginning of four is going to be good, and then it's just going to drop. Maybe like the first ten minutes, maybe fifteen. But uh, I, I just want to talk about a couple of things. It's just a couple of things, you know. Bob and Sheree, hey, Bob said that uh, his like they said they haven't talked to their kids. He does feel that he needs to talk to um, Cairo and more or less just <clears throat> teach him about restraint. But it's also one, and it's not just restraint. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest. It's not, it's not just restraint. You know, it's knowing who you are as a person, and at the same exact time, especially before marrying somebody, getting to know how that person is and their different triggers and how they deal with things. But more or less, understanding how you are as a person, because if you know that you have a tendency to want to see, reach out and touch somebody. If you know that consciously, then your first thing should be right before you get to that threshold, walk the fuck out. You know, leave, go someplace else, but remove yourself from the situation. Doesn't mean you're running, but it means that you're trying to remove yourself from a hostile situation, give you some time to calm down, you know, because you don't want to create no damn problem. Cynthia and Peter, you know, I'm the only thing that I'm that I want to mention is in general. Why the fuck is Peter extra tonight? I mean, here, here's the thing. He's carrying me. Uh, let's be very fucking clear. He is carrying me. Because, you know, he's going to say something. If he can't have um, all of Cynthia, he don't want a piece of her. That's cute. But when he was asked, uh, is he with someone? He's like, you know, I like her a whole lot. But, and it's like, because he was like, but I want her to be happy. But it's like, why you got to put 20 on 10? You know, are you with somebody? Yeah, I'm with somebody. You're doing too much. You're doing too much. And you've already provided a nice segue to be back on season 10 doing cameos. But you're fucking up right now. Fucking up. Then they talk about the baby nut with Portia. Again, I'm skipping a lot of shit. I'm, I'm trying to get y'all talking points that I like right now. It's talking points right now. But, uh, you know, they talk about the baby nut. Faye just like, because they asked her, um, Andy asked her why uh, she was against it. And she was like, I just want it you know, her to have the perfect package. And people just like, but do you have a perfect package? So like, well, I did. Are you married? <laughs> well, life's not perfect. I'll say he, because once he asked her, actually, let me backtrack. Because he is, uh, Andy had asked about Ty, her Ty, Porsche's Ty. Peter jumped in with, I had to say, why he ain't here? Like, literally, you even hear Andy doing, uh-oh. <laughs> fucking carrying me. I didn't hear what caused him to walk off, but I know they're going to pick it up from right there. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, see, I think this is what the, we've been waiting for in this entire fucking time. Alright, so at this point, it's now on Porsche. Because I took very limited notes. Very limited notes, but now Shami is out there, and <clears throat> um, of course, there's distance, and what I mean by distance is, on the left side of the couch, or from our viewing point, right side of the couch, of course, you have Phaedra, Portia, Sheree, and Shamia, so Shamia is not even sitting next to her friend, so that right there says something, and Portia is just like, well, she hasn't talked to her since that one episode aired when they all were sitting down, all meaning Sheree, <clears throat> herself, and uh, Phaedra. And, <clears throat> you know, a lot of stuff was going on, and it actually was Sheree and Portia first, and the whole whole comment, she was like, well, you did call yourself, you know, the queen of thought Lenny, when I, she's like, well, I'm not a whore. I'm not gonna touch that, even though I do call her whore, so I'm trying to be nice right now. But, <clears throat> this is one of those times where making a joke will come back and bite you in the ass. You feel what I'm saying? Because here's the thing, I call myself a whore all the fucking time. I think, whore, I mean, in terms of whore and hoe, whores are, you know, held to a higher regard. 
But at the same exact time, I'm not a whore or a hoe. I haven't had sex in 16 years. So, you know, again, that is a false statement. But if somebody were to use that, what you call you will start throwing it at me. I can't really be too fucking mad because well, I've called myself a whore. It's one of those where when you put yourself out like that or you welcome such crazy shit, you really can't be too mad at what the fuck comes back at you. You feel me? Now, with the whole back now, truly to Portia and Shamia, um, <clears throat> you know, Portia, in my opinion, was given like a lighthearted, like a half assed apology. And because um, <clears throat> she was just like, she was saying, like, it, you know, I apologize, you know, for how you felt, how you may say anything, I'm paraphrasing. <clears throat> And Kenya was just like, no. And she's, it wasn't under her breath. She was talking to the girl, like, I think she was talking to Candy, but kind of like one under breath talking, like, it's, it's not how she felt, it's what you said. And Portia was like, well, what did you say? Now, first off, let us not pretend like Portia wasn't doing the same as I think the difference is in many of those instances, while Portia's doing that, when Kenya was talking, Kenya paid her that. But for whatever reason, <clears throat> Kenya is all up on her skin. So you're like, what did you say? Now, my thing is, if you truly tried to apologize to your friend, what she was saying over there should have never mattered. So that right there lets you know this apology was not genuine from jump. And they're going back and forth, back and forth. It is what the fuck it is. And, you know, she's, you know, Portia tells her, shut the fuck up. She's, and that's when shit got lit. And damn it, it's back. Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Okay, while well, this is like, because they're cutting through shit, I don't care. But right quick, first of all, once y'all wonder, in the place I'm at, I'm not paying for cable internet, which is a blessing. The only thing is, I don't have DVR. So where I could, like, pause and continue my thoughts, can't do that right. But <clears throat> she still gives that little half ass apology, and that's it. But then Candy brings up the whole, okay, so what about the implication of, you know, us fucking? And your friend not defending you because that was a big thing where it's, you know, Portia will be sitting there and Phaedra can say whatever the fuck she wants to say about Shamia. But, 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 but she does not defend or shut that shit down. But if you friends with the both of them and then they come over, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like you can see him be friends with two people that don't like each other because I am. My only thing is. Don't mention this person in a bad light. You can sit here and talk facts, and I and I'm very mm, and we facts is kind of yeah, I don't know. But when you see and you trying to go in on that person, then no, we're not gonna do that because I'm friends with the other person. And of course, the last thing that I need is well, you know, y'all was on the phone when mm -mm, mm -mm, we ain't finna fucking do that. So regardless, Porsche's wrong. <laughs> look, look, y'all. <clears throat> this this is again. This is what I've been waiting for. This is what, like, granted, <clears throat> I've been going and I've been working, but I've been here the last two weeks. Y'all didn't get a review the last two times because it was bullshit. But this is why we're here. Shamia came to fucking, hey, Shamia ain't come to play with y'all asses to fuck today. Okay. <clears throat> but it's a whole lot of back and forth again. I'm not going to sit here and break down the back and forth. But, you know, again, <clears throat> they're going back to the whole thing. And, you know, Shamia is not feeling it. She didn't sit here and call who, what's the girl name? <laughs> Phaedra as auntie. I hollered. Then she said, don't be, <laughs> don't leave your damn what, credit cards, social security dollars and shit around because you know she can fraud like opposite. It's just like, you know what, Shamia? Peter carried me for a minute that he fucking flew off, so I'm not being carried no more. But she's fucking doing it. Shamia did not come to fucking play with no fucking body. And even, <clears throat> and Portia whole thing is, for the life of me, I don't get, okay, I do get, I'll explain why I do, but I don't get why she's not defending her long time friend. Why she's not defending her, but she's defending Phaedra. Like, I don't, I don't get it, but I get it. <clears throat> I truly don't get it, but I do get it. I get it because on this show, if now it'll be it's gonna be funny as fuck if Phaedra don't come back, but Portia do. Cause bitch, you alone, 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 alone. Like you on the island by yourself alone. Like for real, for real. But it's because <clears throat> the two of them together make money. Shami is not on the show, so Shami is not making her money. Exactly. <clears throat> but 
you know, Shamia was going to fuck yeah, and like even addressing Portia, you know, Phase was trying to come in with her reads. Some of the some of the shit does sound fucking with her. And what was so fucked up <clears throat> is the whole collateral damage thing. What uh Phaedra was saying is that she was going in on Shamia. Candy just happened to be collateral damage because she wasn't thinking about her. Candy tried to ask her a question as to, you know, okay, well, what's up with this and the implication and everything? And Phaedra just sitting there just like, but see, Andy not doing his fucking job because he should have been the one to be like, uh, no, no, you finna answer this question. Betty, let me ask you the question. Yet when <clears throat> when everybody when it seems like everybody is going in on Phaedra almost, he wanna sit here and try to tell everybody, you know, like, no, no, stop it. No, no, let they ask the fuck go shit. This is where we gonna get the damn juice from, shit. You just sat here and bored us already with two motherfucking episodes that wasn't about shit, man. Fuck you, Andy. All right, you guys. So I, got to, I have to end the video here for two reasons. <laughs> One, my computer, which is, I have my webcam on, kind of took a shit on me because I was trying to update um, the editing software because the update was available. Didn't know the whole thing was going to reboot. <clears throat> so I was trying to deal with that as well as sit here and just kind of soak up what was coming at me. So unfortunately, I have to cut it right here. I'm so, so sorry. So, so sorry again if I had a DVR, we would not have this problem, but it is what it is, and I won't be able to give you guys the finale. I'm, I'm gonna try to give y'all the finale this week. I'll be on location, but I'm gonna try. But sorry again, thanks for watching. Break, comment, subscribe, share. I'll see you guys when I see you. Peace.